Life is good. Episode 1. Having analyzed and considered all factors in civil case number 36517, the request made by Mr. Nick Levashova to Mrs. Sveta Levashova for an immediate divorce and guided by the norms of the civil code set forth by the state, the court and state rules to dissolve the marriage registered on April 12, 1998 by Chev Branch of the Regional Registry Office between parties Mr. Nick Levashov to Mrs. Sveta Levashova through Act Number 57A187. The marriage will be considered terminated from the moment the court enters into legal force. The persons participating in the case have the right to file an application contesting the court's decision within 15 days after the ruling of the court is declared and delivered to both parties by filing an appeal to the Court of Justice and Peace. Thank you. I'll call you later. Sure, of course. Nick, um... I just... Um, bye. Mm. Goodbye. Goodbye. What about me now? And Helen? Sveta, don't do this. You'll figure something out in the end. Everything <laughs> will be fine. No, it's but over. we can't without you. Sveta, I left you an apartment, yeah? That's more than enough for you to be okay. That's not what I meant. It's okay. just that... Sveta, I have to go now. Bye. Mm. Bye. Finally, we're free. No more hiding or lying to everyone anymore. It's just you and me. Happy? I am. I am. Of course I'm happy. I'm relieved. I'm tired, but a little rest can fix that. and We can go to the sauna. Mm-mm. Love, did you forget? What? The furniture is arriving today. Oh, God, I completely forgot. With the whole divorce, it slipped my mind. I know. I get it. Let's go home. The movers will be there soon. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Afternoon. We have a very good lunch menu today. I recommend it. I want vodka. Hmm. Isn't it still a bit early for vodka? <laughs> Maybe tea with some syrup? Problems? I got divorced today. I get it. And what do you get? You just left me. For a younger one. You know, when my wife left me, I was worried that I wouldn't be able to find a purpose again. And I thought that there was no point of living anymore. I was empty, you know? 
but then I met a woman, and I completely and utterly fell in love again, you know? All I'm saying is I understand. You need to forget him. All I can tell you is that how you feel right now, it's temporary. It goes away once you give yourself the chance to appreciate the present. You're just lucky. And you can be too. I'm sure you'll be. You seem like a kind and warm person. I can see it in your eyes. And besides, you're an attractive woman. You'll find your other half and be happy again. Believe me. Nick was my other half. Nick. Well, if he's breaking your heart like this, he definitely can't be. <laughs> Maybe. But I still want him back. And he's moving on. You know, I understand her. Who? His mistress. He is a very handsome and respectable man. I mean, I've took care of his health over the years. I did everything. I took care of the house, his comfort, our family. I believed him, you know. 20 years. Do you know what it's like to live with someone for that long? Ugh. And look at us now. He ran off with a woman. And me? What about me? You're going to live your life now. Your own life, not his. Nick is my life. I love him, okay? And I always will. Oh God, why am I telling you all of this? Nick? Yep. They're finished. You need to pay them. Mm-hmm. So, how much? Four thousand. Okay. Mm -hmm. Three, um, four. Over Sorry. here. Mm -hmm. And here. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Have a good of day. Course. Thanks. Thanks. You too. Good day. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, well. Tell me. <laughs> Do you like it? It's nice. Well, I like it. It's just like I want it. If you like, like it, then I like it too. I think this calls for a little celebration. For all this and the divorce, of course. I agree. But first, I feel like a hungry wolf. Will my girl cook something for us? Hmm? Mm, 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 mm. I feel really tired today. Mm. And I don't feel like cooking. I will help you. You can do the salad and I'll marinate the meat. Mm, Come no, on. No, Nick, Nick, we'll Nick, open Nick, some Nick, wine. Nick, Nick. Let's just order delivery. The restaurant will be quicker. I just don't feel like cooking. Vicky, you know that I prefer homemade cooking over eating out. Hmm? Mm. Kitten, please, I beg you. Mm. 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 Nick, to be honest with you, I've been feeling a bit sick today. Are you ill? No. I'm just sick. You're so slow-witted. I've taken four tests this week. You're serious? Well, yeah. So you're, you're... Yes, like I said, I've taken four tests to make sure. I... I love you. You've made me the happiest man on earth. Good evening. I haven't seen Nick around here in a long time. Is he on some sort of business trip somewhere? What's wrong with her?
it's open. You okay? Fietta, believe what I'm saying. Life goes on after divorce. It isn't a death sentence. There's no reason to be sad. Millie, I'm 43. So? Are you gonna go bury yourself when you turn 93? No, because age doesn't matter. You're smart and beautiful. Any man would kill to be with you. No, I don't need just any man. I need my Nick. Oh, bloody bastard. Stop saying Nick this, Nick that. He's not the hero you make him out to be. Besides, he's not yours. Listen to me. Things didn't work out with Nick, and that's okay. Hmm? I mean, I've been married three times, and look at me, I'm doing well. You know what? Maybe you just need some time. This is your chance to explore. You have some freedom now. Take hmm. this time to find yourself. Go get yourself a manicure, do your hair, get your makeup done. You've forgotten what it's like. I don't need freedom. I need don't my say husband. That. You need it. Everyone needs it. Especially us, women. I uh, understand that you are under a lot of stress. The life goes on. And you'll need to adapt to it. Try to relax. It'll be fine. What are you looking at? Oh. Well, at least your Helen is doing well. Look how well he's taking care of her. <laughs> she says Kirill loves her very much. Yeah? She's an angel. And you are a good mom. And now I'm all she has. Svieta, stop talking like that, please. Mm. You need to try and be positive. I'm trying, but I can't. I know you're trying, but just try harder. Look, every day I go to the mirror and I tell myself you are gorgeous. And it actually works. No, I'm not normal. I'm special. Mm. Oh, it's getting late. And besides, I still need to check on the homework. Hmm. Take care. Thank you for coming. I'll see you soon. Oh, hello, Aunt Millie. Hi, sweetie, I'm, I'm going. How's mom? Mm. Take care of her. Hello. Hello. I was at the cinema with Cario. That sounds nice. Did you like the movie? Yeah. It wasn't bad. Are you hungry? No, we ate at the cafe nearby. How are you? How was the court? Terrible, but I'll try to survive. I'm happy that you and Kirill are okay. Do you love him? Mm-hmm. A lot. You have no idea how caring he can be. He gives me flowers every day. Your dad also gave me flowers when we dated. I loved chrysanthemums. They were seasonal, but he still managed to get them, even in the winter. Mom, don't, please. Hmm. It's okay, I can handle it. It just happened so unexpectedly. The divorce, the move. We didn't even get a chance to talk. I think we might be able to talk things through, if we do. But why? Why do you want to talk to him? The man betrayed us. No, it's not him. It's her. She got into his head and he got confused. I just need to go explain everything to him and I'm sure he'll come back. That's naive. Why? Because that won't happen. I'm going to bed. Good night, dear. Are you going to? Hmm? Of course, yes. so much.
What a nice surprise. Hello. Hello. I got tickets to the concert. Really? You're not serious. I am. Want to go? Yes. When is it again? I forgot. Today. I'll come pick you up after class. Yes, there's also something else we need to talk about. It's important. What is it? We can talk about it tonight. Do you finish at five? My class actually ends at three. Well, great. I'll be there to pick you up then. Is that okay? Yes, of course. It's a deal. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye. Mr. Lavashiba, I have Mrs. Svieta here. You can let her in. Good morning. Oh, sit down. Sorry about yesterday. It was all so chaotic. But everything's fine now. I've come to my senses, and I'm okay. That's good. There's no need to dramatize things. What did you want? Yes, I actually just wanted to talk. To sit down and calmly discuss and try to come to a solution. Yeah? To fix this. No, Svieta. We both know that we are making a mistake. Svieta, we're no longer husband and wife. There's nothing to discuss. But we can't leave it like this. I have no one else. But you and Helen. Stop. Don't try to guilt trip me. Look, Nick, this new, um, <clears throat> girlfriend of yours, Vicky, she doesn't need you. She only needs your money. Don't talk about her like that. Vicky's going to be my wife soon. We're expecting. If you have nothing else to say to me, I have to work. And please, don't come here again. It's delicious, but so many calories. You should eat. Sweets comfort. They also say chocolate helps. Remember, they said chocolate cures and heals the sadness. Yes, it's all about the serotonin. It's the hormone of happiness. Will you talk about bananas next? Oh, look at that. Your humor's already back. The serotonin's working. You know, Nick was right. You shouldn't over-dramatize this whole thing. You are acting like this is the end. Half the country's full of separated women, and we're all alive. <laughs> is that a life? Yes, it's a good life. A full and rather happy one. Today's just a bad day. Tomorrow will be better. It's not forever. Svieta, you need to get out there. 
and meet people. It'll help you gain some perspective. It's not that bad. <laughs> you're one to talk. I mean, you're single. What are you doing? My status is currently on active search. I mean, don't they always <laughs> say that whoever seeks will always find? Come on, you need to relax a little. A little bit of fun never hurt anyone. Once you let go a little, the men will fall at your feet to worship you. I don't want to. <laughs> then force yourself. Come on, get ready. We're going out tonight. <laughs> Me out? I didn't even really do that when I was young. Just do it. You have to give yourself a break. Change your environment. You're a woman. It makes you adaptable. I'm not very good at that. I can't really play or pretend. Talk less and do more. Once you start to make some changes, you'll start moving on and getting rid of all of these complexes. <laughs> and so setting yourself up for renewal. You just need to do something. And you'll see it works. Maybe you're right. Maybe? I'm always right. Are we going? Well... Good, that's it. Being willing is the first step towards renewal. And next, a change of environment. But first, uh, this won't work. We're going to the salon and getting ourselves a makeover. Damn, Helen, I have a feeling I won't be passing the psychology exam. Ontogeny, situational changes, it's all just too much. Listen, let's study together later tonight. I can't do tonight, unfortunately. I've already made plans. I'm already busy. <laughs> ah, I see your plans. The cafe or cinema? You won't believe. It's the concert. Really? They were sold out. Kirill got some. He's a real magician. I must admit, I'm a bit jealous. Anyway, I'll go. Bye. Get me an autograph. I'll try, okay? Hello. <laughs> For you. They're beautiful. Yeah? And you're even more beautiful. Mm. Let's go. Let's go. You said you wanted to talk to me? Uh, yes, I did. About? Something. <laughs> no, come on, you have to tell me. All right. I want to introduce you and your mom to my parents. Are you sure? I am. You're my future wife. Wow. Does this mean you're proposing? <laughs> uh, no, but I will propose to you in time and in a better setting. Let's meet the parents first, though. You think I'm being too old school? You're not being too anything. In fact, you're being perfect. Really? I'm absolutely serious. You think they'll like me? You? <laughs> I'm sure they'll love you. Let's go. You look so good. It's not that good. <laughs> I'm being serious. <laughs> Just look at you. <laughs> Trust me, that Vicky girl has nothing on you right now. You look impeccable. Don't let it go to my head now. <sighs> I'll cry. No, I'm serious. Your only <laughs> dears will be happy ones. Mm. Oh. <laughs> you see that? Let's go. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
Do you visit here often? Yes, but only sometimes. <laughs> only sometimes. What's your name? Huh, and why are you asking? You like me? If I do, then what? <laughs> then the name's Millie. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mila. The name's Ruslan. Okay, how about we have some fun? Spieta, get over here now. Come on. Come here. No, I'm fine. She's my friend. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hello? Yes, Nick, it's me again. In the office? Vicky, I'm sorry. Uh, I know, but I'll probably be late today. A few things came up. When are you coming? You promised. Come on, Kitty, don't be upset with me. Do something at home, I don't know. Cook dinner for me. I'll be hungry when I finally get home. <laughs> okay, I'll order pizza. Okay, then. And whatever. Just don't be upset. I just need to finish a few things here, but I promise um, tomorrow, after lunch, I'm all yours. Deal? Okay, deal. I'll hold you to it, though. All right, love you. See you. Mm-hmm. Okay, kisses, bye. Uh, sorry about that. Mm-hmm. My wife is pregnant. Mm -hmm. She's worried. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> to me. Someone. Look around and see what guys are here. Woo! <laughs> By the way, they're looking at you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Millie, I don't know. I well, I have an idea. Let's go dancing. Let's go. Come on. We can't just sit here forever. Just so you know, she's wow. not married. Wow, <laughs> Nice Vieta. to meet you. Let's dance, dance, dance! Woo! <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey! I... should go. I'll miss you. Yeah. Okay. See you. When? Tomorrow. Uh -huh. Are you sure about that? I am. I'm going. I'm Are going. You? Yeah? <laughs> okay. Go on then. Go. <laughs> I'll go. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are you home? Mama? Mom? Mom? Why not? Whew. <laughs> Whew. Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> Ooh, two cocktails. Woo! <laughs> 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 
Hi, girl. Oh, hello. Do you want something hello. to drink? <laughs> a margarita for me. What do you want? Uh, something with alcohol. Two margaritas, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then leave it in the fridge for 12 hours so that the skin stretches and dries out. Hi, Mom. Hello. I'm going to cook duck for dinner tomorrow. What do you think? Sounds good, but just make sure there's enough. What do you mean? We're having guests. I invited someone over. Ah, uh, from the office. I hope a girlfriend. <laughs> she isn't from the office. Mm -hmm. How many people am I cooking for? Well, it's gonna be you, me, dad, her mom, so... Mom. So listen, I'm marrying her. Oh God, really? That's such good news. Yeah, I've been dating Helen for a year now and I really love her. So I thought, why wait any longer? It's inevitable. Her name is Helen. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful name. And she's just as beautiful, you'll see. I think you'll like her. I don't doubt it. If you talk about her with such enthusiasm, if you've been dating for a year, why didn't you tell me about her? Well, I wasn't sure about how I feel, <laughs> but I am now very sure. I see. Do you have a photo? Yes, of course. <laughs> Here you go. Here she is. She is very nice. We look good together. What does she do? She's studying to become a teacher at a preschool. So she loves kids? Yes. I always wanted a daughter-in-law. I invited her and her mom over for oh. dinner tomorrow. Mm. Don't worry, son. I'll cook them an amazing dinner. Yes, please do. Uh, is dad home? No, he's working late again, as usual. He did say if he's in the mood tomorrow, we'll have a barbecue. Oh. Uh. Good morning. Good morning. Oh. 
I'm sorry for waking you. This was a mistake. Sorry. Yeah? Yeah. You didn't think that last night. No. <clears throat> you really mm. managed to impress me. Oh. You were just so... What? I was so what? Oh. Mm -hmm. Are you leaving? Yeah. Oh. Goodbye now. Oh, well, can I get your phone number? No. Can I see you again? Uh, I'm sorry. No, we, uh, uh, can't do that. Never again. Why not? We just shouldn't. Goodbye. Oh. We just shouldn't. Oh, well, farewell then. Oh. God, what were you thinking, Svieta? <clears throat> Helen? Are you in? Mom, where were you all night? I called you four times. Uh, I was at Millie's place. I stayed there for the night. You couldn't call? No, I couldn't. My phone was off all night. What? Can I have a night out? I did nothing wrong. No. Ugh. You're right. It's not wrong. I was just a bit curious. Yeah. You want coffee? It's okay. I'll do it. How are you feeling? Not great, to be honest. We drank a lot. More than we should have. Do we have aspirin? It's up there. Listen, I have to tell you. What? Is it something good? Kirill wants to introduce me and you to his parents. Uh, when? Tonight. We're having dinner. No, no, I can't. Not today. What do you mean? N no. Why can't you? <sighs> you have to. It's a family dinner. <sighs> You'll feel better by tonight. Okay, I'll try. Please. It's very important to me. Huh. Mm. Why are you worried? You don't have to stress. Think a little more positively. He wants you to meet his parents, so he's serious. Yeah. It'll be okay. I hope so. Help me choose a dress. Hmm. Had is killing me. Ugh. I had to come home alone. Can you imagine? No one saw me off. There were no men anymore. <sighs> oh, yes, thank God. Hmm. I don't have work. Oh, how are you feeling after last night? What happened? <clears throat> to that man who left with you. He didn't look too bad. Mm. He was quite handsome. Did you stay with him? Look, I don't remember anything. Like nothing. Well, are you okay, dear? <sighs> Whatever I remember, I hope I forget soon. Mom, what are you doing? I need help. I'll have to tell you later. Bye. <laughs> okay, bye. Oh. 
Hmm. This one? No, well, wait, 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 wait. This one? Hmm? No, not that. It's too short for meeting the parents. Yeah, too short. Uh, mm, or this. Well, it's not an exam. Mm, I guess you're right. The white one, then? Well, yes. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. And you? I have something. You do? Yes, I do. Stop stressing so much. How should I not? This is the first family dinner. Mom, hmm. my hands are shaking. I'm not sure why, but I'm worried. It feels like the eerie calm before the no. storm. Don't be so dramatic. It's a normal day. But when I was jogging, my phone fell and the protective glass broke. It's bad. It's a sign. A sign of what? The safety glass broke, that's all. You're young and in love, it's okay. You being nervous means you're excited. It would be strange if you weren't worried. All will be fine. White one? Yeah. It'll sure. be perfect. You're the best. <laughs> Thank you. Mwah. I have a feeling that this won't end well. Vika, you're playing with fire. Why did you lie to him? Mom, what else could I do? It took him so long to get divorced. I needed him to move things forward. And this will do it. Mm-hmm, sure will. And what will you do when there's no baby in your arms? When the time comes, I'll tell him. He'll find out and you know what will happen. These kind of things are no joke. Trust me, I know. Mom, he loves me. Loves me. He'll forgive me. Ladies, how are you doing? Excellent. After all those procedures, I can feel that my skin is smooth and younger. That's great. Can I offer you a deep massage? How long? It takes about two hours. No, I can't then. I have to go shopping with Nick today. Yeah, but I can. I'm free. I have all day. I'm okay for now. Okay, come to the massage room when you're ready. Just think about it. Well, welcome to my home. Mm -hmm. My dad built it. It's, it's spacious. Really beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it's spacious. <laughs> Helen and I will live here. Wait here. Thank you. Good evening. Good day. Good day. You got here all right? It was fine, thank you. Let me do the honors. This is my mom, mm. Mrs. Tatiana. They call me Tate. Nice to meet you, Sveta. This is my daughter, Helen. Uh, nice to meet you. You too. And Helen. Very good. Well, welcome to our home. Where's Thank you Dad? very much. Dad's busy with a barbecue. He wanted to surprise you. Good evening. Welcome. Ah. Oh, good evening. Papa, let me introduce you to my Helen and her mom, Sveta. Sveta. Nice to meet you. Well, let's eat already. Help out the guests. Yeah, Here. this way. Uh, uh huh. How does it taste? It's very nice, thank you. He's a real meat master. I actually wanted to cook duck, but he insisted on barbecue. 
And I think he was right. Barbecue is always better. Mm -hmm. I'll make sure to cook duck for another occasion. You know, it might be nice if you visit us again next weekend. <sighs> that would be nice. Hmm. Yeah. Uh. I mean, I've never had a duck. Tell me, mm. what exactly is it that you do? What, so to speak, are your prospects for the future? What do you want to do one day? Helen studies at the Pedagogical Institute. To become a teacher? Yeah. She loves children. Yeah, I do. <laughs> oh, very good. And you, Sviata, what do you do? I studied at medical school, but I didn't graduate. I'm a housewife now. No, oh, but why didn't your husband decide to come along with us this evening? We should meet him. We're divorced. Uh-huh. Which one of you is better off now? Mom. Victor, why are you interrogating them? Let them enjoy their meal. <laughs> Maybe it's time for dessert? And what might that be? A fruit salad and cherry strudel. Nice. I promise you'll love Mom's strudel. It's delicious. Then I won't argue with you. <laughs> That's right. Arguing with a man is pointless and stupid. And any man can see what's missing here. A nice drink to go with the dessert. Sfieta. Would you be so kind as to help me go choose a wine from our cellar? Me? You. I'm sure you have great taste. Dad, let me choose. Relax, son. Let our guest decide on the wine for us. Okay. Shall we? That's settled. I'll serve dessert. What do you prefer? Pinot Grigio, Muscat, or something stronger? I don't know. You choose, Mr. Victor. Mr. Yesterday I was just Victor. You thought we'd never meet. And now we have. Huh? you like it open it for us son Victor what did you bring you said it was cheap sour stuff well if we're going to have cheap sour guests today then why not that what are you saying exactly that just look at them son where exactly did you pick up this bimbo what are you going to do with her that Look at them, they're cheap women who seem to think that they can get my money. My money, by the way, not yours. Excuse they only me? want status. We never even thought about what you're saying. To get your precious money or your holy status, Mr. Victor. If I were you, Svieta, I would just keep quiet. All I'm saying is you and your daughter aren't getting anything. Nothing. I'm only making you aware of the gap between your daughter and my son. Victor, stop. What's wrong with you? Helen, let's go. Uh, I'll drive. Sit down. You're absolutely right. We are cheap women and we'll get home by bus. Great. Good riddance. What's wrong with you? You're asking what's wrong with me. What on earth is wrong with you, son? You ever heard of the word misalliance? You don't know her. I don't need to know her. I meet people like her every day, and her mother's the same. Hands on her knees, eyes down, says nothing. All thoughts about money. All thoughts about our How money. How can you say that? I can. 
And listen carefully. If you argue with me, I'll deprive you of your inheritance, got it? I don't know if I should have bought this cashmere coat or the green one with the inserts. Uh, what's the difference? What do you mean by that? Mm. Okay, never mind then. Damn it. I forgot again. Forgot what? We bought everything. I need hookah tobacco. Why hookah? You can't. I mean, you're pregnant. It's not for me. For who? Mom. Does your mom smoke? Sometimes with her friends. It's trendy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get your card? I want that other coat too. Of course. Here. Thanks. Just a sec. Yeah. Mom, he's not answering. I don't understand it. He loves you, he'll call. What if he doesn't? If he doesn't, it means he doesn't. But I love him. And he, he just sat there and said nothing. I don't get it. Why is he against us? What have we done to him? Don't know. Everything was so good. And then... If Kitty will stop loving me... Let him call me and he can tell me to my face. I'll talk to him. Helen, maybe... <sighs> you shouldn't. I have to. I have the right... to know why. I mean, I love him. Life is good. Episode 2. <sighs> Honey. Mm, morning. Mm. Want to know what I dreamt? Tell me. I think it was prophetic. Mm -hmm. Mm. We were on the highway, going somewhere. The sunset behind us, my hair mm -hmm. blowing. And I was dressed like a 60s babe. <laughs> you were dressed like a stud, too. The roof of your convertible was down, and we were wearing mm. matching sunglasses. <laughs> we just felt one with the road. Just you and me going somewhere pretty. Hmm? Mm-hmm. But wait, what was I doing in your dream? Hmm? Driving. You were driving. Mm-hmm. So will you buy me the car? Cabriolet? Mm-hmm. No. I can't buy a convertible. Why not? One, it's insanely expensive. And two, it's actually a useless car. I mean, where do you put a baby car okay, seat? Okay, how about another car? Just as nice. I can do that. I'll buy it. So sexy. You'll be... No, no. I'll be quick. We can't. Why? You'll be late. Traffic. So what? Hmm? Why are you here? I'll go just explain what happened. 
Nothing. It can't be. It's nothing. I just realized we're different. What? Meaning what? Explain what changed. Everything was fine just yesterday. Calm down. Is there someone else? Look, it's over. Why aren't you in school? He dumped me. Mom, what's wrong with me? I'm confused. I don't understand what happened. He couldn't even look me in the eyes. He wouldn't even explain, just said it's over. <laughs> Helen, my dear, you didn't do anything. I'm to blame for this. Meaning? What did you do? Remember that night I didn't come home when I was at Millie's? Well, that night she took me clubbing to relax. You know, after what happened with the divorce case. Mom, what are you saying? How is this about Kirio? This isn't easy for me to explain. Listen, while at the club I met a man. He said his name was Victor. Who's this Victor? Well... Mom! I didn't know that he was Kirill's dad. Kirill's dad? Wait, he was at the club. No ways, he's an influential banker. What's he doing in a club? What do people do there? They go to drink and relax. And also meet new people. That's how I met him, and we were drinking and chatting. I got close to him, too close. I'm lost. Did... you... screw him? We left the club to his place and drank more. One thing led to another, but in the morning I left. He wanted more. But I rejected him and then we met at his house. He's doing this to punish me. I'm sorry. You ruined everything. Helen. Helen. <sighs> Millie, I messed up big. What happened? Helen's gone. I ruined her relationship. No, I killed it and hurt her badly. Now she's gone. It's my fault. What if she doesn't come back? Look, calm down. Just calm down. Mm -hmm. I'm coming. Mm. As I was saying? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Are you blind? No, sorry. Excuse What's me. What's your name? Let me walk you. No, that won't be necessary. Why? We just want to know you. Don't be stuck up. Come on. No, I'm fine. What's Let me name? pass. I'm in a hurry. <laughs> Go then. You're not that hot. Hello. Helen, afternoon. How are you doing? I could be better. Why didn't you come today? I have a good reason. Is that so? Well, the exam is tomorrow. Still need my notes? Oh, yes, I still need them. <clears throat> um, can we meet at the park near school in 40 minutes? You free? Yeah, sure. Bye. She won't forgive me. You know, never. Don't say that. She just needs to calm down. She'll understand. You should have seen her. She was so hurt, angry. Now I'm worried. Where is she? Give her space. She'll come home eventually. What if she doesn't? 
God. I'm a bitch of a mother. Sveta, enough! You need to stop punishing yourself. Sure, you got drunk and had a one-night stand. It happens. Did you know you slept with her boyfriend's dad? I didn't know. Exactly. Tell me. How was it? With Victor, hmm? Great? I told you, I don't remember much about that night. Like absolutely nothing? It's all blurry images. Just pieces. And my head's spinning. I'm broke and I don't even have a plan. That's not a problem. There's plenty of jobs. Plenty, you say? Have I ever misled you? If you want me to help, we can check now. Hmm? Job search. Who's hiring? Look here, see? Required, required, required. There are a lot of jobs. What are the positions? CEO assistant. Ah, secretary. A million positions. I want something not far from here. Not a problem. I'll check close to home. Whoa. Five posts, all in a walking distance. <laughs> and that's my life. I had a fiancé, now I don't. Why did we go to that dinner? Are you saying his parents hated you? So it seems. What did your mom say? My mom? What can she actually say? Hmm? Look, I'm sorry to say this, but his dad's right. How is he right? Look at Kirill. Who is he? He's the son of a banker with lots of money. And who are you? You've never worked a job before, and your dad supported you. It's wrong, but the banker insulting you is justified. You guys aren't in the same league. And wealthy people match with their own type for the benefits. And love? Please, Helen. What is love going to feed you in our world? If you're poor or unemployed, you're nothing. So what use will you be to people? Look at me. I'm independent. I make my own money. I don't need my parents because I work at a cleaning agency after school. And I'm doing just fine. What's this cleaning agency? <sighs> well, it's a company that cleans private homes and some offices. It's hard work. But you know what? The pay is good. And it's not time consuming. Would you like to try it out? Hmm? Hmm. I think so. Maybe. Well, think about it. Now, let's go study for tomorrow. I still owe you for coffee. Oh, forget about it. Thank you. <laughs> Kirill. Did you speak to Helen? No. I'm sorry about last night. Really. Helen is a decent girl. So is her mom. I really like them. Kirill. I've been waiting for you. Tonight we're going to an exhibition on contemporary art. Since when do you like contemporary art? I don't give a damn about contemporary art. I just want you to meet somebody. Her name's Olina. My partner's daughter, she'll be there. Dad. Look, I don't want to meet anyone. You have to. It will benefit us. I'm building us a profitable alliance. But- No buts. Don't worry, the girl's pretty. You'll like her and thank me one day. Now go. Have a shower, dress up, then we'll go, all right? I've heard you. I'll be ready. Good. What the hell? Another no. What do they want? Someone younger. It's obvious I'm a little too old. Svieta, that's nonsense. You're only 40. Mm -hmm. And some people say 30. I guess. Who do they need? Young girls, for what? Anyway, there's one more. Oh, let's get you a courier job. 
No, no. I can't work as a courier. Plus, I can't carry heavy things. What else can you do? We've tried everywhere. Let's try these addresses. Okay, let's go. Wait, let me try Helen again. And? She's still not picking up. Maybe she's busy. I really fucked up. Will you stop blaming yourself? Just let her cool down and stop moping. How will people hire you? Smile, see? That's better. Let's go! Mom. Hmm? You don't know how bored I am being home alone. Nick is always at work. That's a good thing. He's making money. I get that, but what should I do? You can keep busy, find some work. You want me to go look for a job? No. Your only job is to please your husband and be good in bed. Why is that? Because... You need a baby, did you forget? Mom, how many times must I say I don't want a baby now? A baby will guarantee that you're secure and stable with Nick. Nick isn't stupid. The only way to keep him is having his baby. Stop lecturing me! Can you listen for once? Do you want to lose him? I do know what I'm doing, Mom. Mom! Huh? Walk! Hello, ladies. Mm -hmm. First, hit the treadmill, then the pool. All right. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, Kirill. I know you're going to like her. If I were younger, I wouldn't let such a chance pass me. Here she is. Hey, you see? Evening, Victor. I'm Ellie. Thank you for coming. Please, meet my son Kirill. Evening. Evening. Nice to meet you. Me too. Are you a fan of contemporary art, Kirill? Uh, he has a little interest in it. <laughs> but what he really likes is meeting beautiful girls like you. Thanks. He's also handsome. Well, shall we? Yes, let's go. <laughs> Let me. Ladies first. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm also sorry. I fucked up. I know. So... I was thinking... about everything. And I realized... this is good. But how's it good? because I see things more clearly now. For example, Kirill, if he really loved me, he would have fought for me. So do I need him? No, but you love him? After this, I'm not sure. Love isn't enough. It's going to be okay. And you'll be fine. I know. Do you forgive me? <laughs> I do, Mom. Forgive me? 
I do. You went clubbing. Did you have fun? <laughs> I didn't know you could be carefree. No. No? It was just once off. Come on, <laughs> let's go in. Vicky, I'm oh. home. You're home early. Yeah, the meeting was canceled. And I'm tired like a dog. Then can we go clubbing? <laughs> we can't go clubbing. Why not? Why not? Every time I suggest it, you no, always say no. because I'm too old for clubs. No, that's nonsense. You work so hard and need to relax. But how can I relax there? Clubs are noisy. And by the way, they're not good for you. What do you You're mean? You're pregnant and it's dirty. The atmosphere is stuffy. I'd be a bad person if I took you but there. But Nick, I'm bored. All I do at home is cook, clean, and laundry. That's not good for me. No, no, don't complain. You're exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating. Nick, this has become my reality. I'm a young and beautiful woman, Nick. I need to go out and have fun and meet people. Okay, all right. Calm down, my beautiful woman. Mm -hmm. I promise to take you on vacation. We can spend a few days in Spain. Huh? To Spain. Mm. Mm. Now, what's for dinner? I didn't cook anything. Nothing to eat again? I didn't feel like anything. I was busy today. What were you busy with? I went to gym for pregnant women, then saw mom. By the way, I chose this baby. I spent a lot of time researching it. I really love it. Thoughts? Do you know how much fuel this baby eats? Can you at least make me scrambled eggs and a bagel? It's very late. You shouldn't be eating. It's unhealthy. What did you think, Victor? I didn't understand a lot of it, but there were some interesting pieces. And you, Kirill? Some I really liked, and some not. I actually didn't like it at all. I expected light and romantic artwork. Instead, they were depressing pieces. It really ruined my mood tonight. A meal can change that. You know, food fixes everything. Plus, I know a good restaurant just around the corner. Kirill? What do you think? I can't. I have an early morning. Don't worry. As the boss, you can start late. But I'm not the boss yet. No, you're not yet. But it can be changed. Don't forget who I am. We have connections. That's true. And my dad always says connections are everything. See? So let's strengthen ours tonight. <laughs> right, son? Right, dad. Good. Let's go then. Okay. Follow me. <laughs> we also have property in Greece and Portugal, but I like Portugal. Greece is too hot in summer. Do you have real estate abroad? I'm thinking of it. In fact, I'd like your dad to help me secure one. I'll tell him. I know he'll help you. He always helps his friends. Then I'll toast to that. <laughs> to friends. To friends. <laughs> Come on. You know I'm driving, right? But you can always call a taxi. There's a service called Drunk Driver. It's quite good. Great then. <laughs> Let's try again. To friends. <laughs> You're stubborn. I do like men like you. Don't worry, Ellie. Kirill actually likes you. He's just shy. Thanks, Victor. I'm glad you invited me. It's been fun getting to know Kirill. Well, thank you for coming. And I hope we'll see more of you. What do you think? I agree. 
Kirill, maybe you can take Ellie out to some trendy places? <laughs> I don't know a lot of places. I don't go out. That's true. He's always working. Day in, day out, you'll find him just working. I think it's good. A man's worth is his ability to provide. I agree. Family is important. By the way, Kirill, tomorrow is my birthday. I'm having a small thing. I'm inviting you. Will you come? Of course he will. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> sure, I'll come. Good, I'll be waiting. What are you doing? I'm looking for work. And how's it going? Found anything interesting? No. It's not going well. Ugh. Turns out I'm not qualified. I regret not finishing school. I'd have a profession by now. Mom, I was thinking maybe I can get a job after classes. Don't you dare. No, I don't even want to hear about it. I want you to focus only on your studies. So you don't end up like me. Read your books or you'll fail your exam. I'll pass it. Don't worry, I'm prepared. I'm going to sleep. Good. Rest enough for tomorrow. You? I'll stay up a bit longer. I don't have anywhere to go in the morning. Good night, then. Sleep well, dear. Thanks, Mom. You didn't eat much? It's okay. He needs to leave space in his stomach. He's going to a birthday party. Have you forgotten? No, I remember. She's a nice girl, right? Yes. Alina, she's all right. Elena. Her name is Elena. Yes, Elena. I'll remember it. Write it down. You didn't like her? Why wouldn't he have liked her? She's pretty and comes from a good family. Mm, by the way. Her present. Let's add some flowers and make sure that they're expensive. Don't drive there. Take a taxi. And have a drink. You'll look bad if you don't. But the vacancy of secretary is open. I saw it on the internet. Or you don't need anyone? We do need someone, but I don't think the job's for you. Why? Need someone special? Can I ask you a question? Sure. What's your age? <laughs> do I look that bad? No. You look great, but that's not the point. What can you do? Whatever a secretary has to do. Well, I'm responsible, disciplined, and make great coffee. The thing is, a secretary must know the basics of office work, know how to type and speak English well, should be able to take minutes and manage diaries. As for coffee, we have a great coffee machine. I'm sorry, but we can't hire you for this position. I see. Thanks. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yes, hello. 
I'm coming. Soon. Mm -hmm. See you. I'm sorry, but we can't hire you. Thanks. Sorry, but this post has been filled. All the best. The exit is ahead to the right. Thanks. You're welcome. Millie, you home? Yeah, I just got in. I'm coming over. Okay, we'll have tea. Mm-hmm. You're punctual. Come in. Hi, Ellie. Hello. Um, for you. Hmm. Happy birthday. Thanks a lot. They smell nice. What's inside the box? Is it a perfume? I thought you'd like it. Fantastic. I like how we think alike. Let me have a seat. Where are the guests? Guests? Why do we need them? Aren't I enough for you? Isn't this a party? It is, but it's a private party. Please open. Sure, of course. No. Toast. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Ellie, I wish you nothing but the best. <laughs> uh, thanks for the wishes. <laughs> so none of them hired you? Mm hmm. I tried five places, all unsuccessful. What do they say? What can they say? I'm unqualified, no experience and old. Ignore them. I can't if they're actually right. I feel useless and I really can't do any job. But wait a minute. Didn't you study medicine? I did, but I didn't finish. Remember I got married? And then I had Helen right after. Well, try find a job at the hospital. Doing what? I only did two years and a few medical courses. I don't remember much except F.A. And what's F.A.? It's actually basic first aid. Ha <laughs> ha! How fancy, hmm? Haven't I been busy doing F.A. with you? Svieta, I really don't know how else to help you. I could try to get you a job at my place, but the doctors are qualified. But you can try to be a nurse in a hospital. No. They're not looking, I asked. What a pity. No, what's on your resume? What resume? You're kidding. Are you job hunting without one? What should I write, that I was a housewife? It's not what you write. The point is how you write. For example, I have two years of medical school and I have basic management skills. The point is to sell your skills very well, that they'll be impressed. You need to write in a good way. Who are you? What can you do? Now go work on it. 
Understand? I'll try it. Good girl. Kirill, why are you behaving tense? Come I'm on, not. feel at home. Come sit closer to me. <laughs> Do you like my place? It's very nice. Thank you. I did the decorating myself and picked out the furniture. Take this sofa, for instance. <laughs> it's so comfy to sit on. Try it. True. Let's toast. Sure, let's. For what? To you? No, we toasted to me. Let's drink. To building a successful relationship. Do you mind? No, I don't. Excellent. Try this. Uh... It's delicious. I don't understand. Why are you so tense, Kirill? I know what can relax you. I'll give you a massage. Trust me. You'll feel relaxed after. Let's take this off. Hang on. I'm sorry, but I can't. What do you mean? Is something wrong? Or are you not attracted to me? What's the matter? No, you're a pretty girl, honestly. Just pretty? What else? <sighs> You're a prick. I'm tripping myself over you, and you say pretty? Sorry, I don't mean to offend you. It's not you, it's me. You really are a beautiful girl. It's just... I broke up with someone recently, and it's still a fresh wound. Sorry. That's okay. Should I maybe give you some time? Okay, I can do that. You see, I like that you're old school. And I like you a lot. I should go. All right, but I'll wait for your call. How was it? So easy. That's my girl. I didn't doubt you. You hungry? No, thank you. How was your day? My day? It was unsuccessful. And long. I couldn't find a job anywhere, so Millie told me to write a resume. Don't know what to say. I don't have any experience in any field. Mom? You are very important to me. <laughs> You're my everything. I love you, Helen. And we'll be fine together, hmm? Don't worry. <gasps> Chalk cakes, hmm? <laughs> Tea's also ready. I don't want tea. I can eat the cakes without it. Look how it's calling me. Hmm. Oh, it's so delicious, it's so sinful. And it's so unfair how mine never looks like yours. I don't get it, I follow the recipe like you. Mm. It's easy, it's about being patient. I'm patient when I make them, and I give them love. But they don't taste as good as yours. Hang on. Mom, I just got an idea. Find a job in a restaurant. But you're great at baking, and you cook really well. Stop joking. I'm really not a professional. Think about it. What will you lose? Maybe it's your calling to make delicious food. Mm-hmm. 
Anyway, it's late. I'm going to bed with my cake. <laughs> Before I eat more, <laughs> thanks. Don't get your pillow dirty. <laughs> Good night. Thank you. You're welcome. party. Did Elena like your present? A lot. Good night. Kirill! Leave him alone. He's an adult. He can pick his own girls. Shut up. Who asked you? We're in need of a chef and a sous chef, with qualifications and experience, and you have none of that. I can be a waitress. That also requires experience. Look, we can't afford to train you. We need professionals. Thank you. Thank God. Listen, don't tell Nick we were in the sauna. A pregnant woman shouldn't be here. Mom, look at me. Am I a fool? Of course not. Oh, I'd kill for a cold glass of beer. No ways, he'll smell it. No, he won't. One, he works late. And two, I'll brush my teeth. Ugh. Worse, your belly isn't growing. He'll start to notice. <sighs> Let me first marry the man, and then we will see. Listen, I've been thinking about this. I have a friend who's a gynecologist. Let's pay her to write you a letter. A confirmation of pregnancy. When he sees it, he'll marry you now. Oh, why didn't you say this before? We could have done it long ago. And after the marriage, I can say I lost the baby somehow. No, Vicky, no. You can't. You need to fall pregnant for real. Mom, mom, mom. What mom, mom, mom? I've said this before. I'll say it again. I'll have a baby in three years time. Uh. I'm not ready for that work. I want to enjoy my life and drink some champagne. Hmm? No ways, mm, forget come it. Come on, no. let's get it. Let's get a bottle. No. You're annoying. Okay, get the damn champagne. Reception, bring us a bottle of Woo. champagne here. Woo. There's Sabil. He's on his way here. No, 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 no. Helena, can we talk, please? Uh, hello. Hello. Yes. Well, uh, wait, wait. Uh, here, I got us two tickets to the theater. Here, they're showing a great play. Interested? I can't. Today won't work. I'm sorry, but no thanks. Oh. 
Okay, then maybe we can take a walk at the park. Or how's tomorrow? My dear Seville. Yeah? I'll say this once. Listen well, but I'm not interested in going out with you. I don't want to date you, nor do I want you to chase me. So please leave me alone. Okay. Thanks. That was cruel. You know he's liked you since first year. That's his problem. I guess. What about Kirill? Did he call? He did. Ooh, what happened? Nothing. I didn't pick up his call. Oh, good. You shouldn't make it too easy for him. Mary, I really don't care. I'm not interested in Kirill or whatever he does. Anyway, I need a favor from you. Yeah? Work. I need a part-time job. And fast. You can come with me to meet my boss. Can we go tonight? Have your passport? I do. Then it's easy. We can go after classes. Really? Yeah. And remember, yes? you'll have to work hard. Mm -hmm. Don't slack. <laughs> Look, dear, there aren't any available posts for you. I need something. I'm willing to do anything. Anything you have. I can wash the dishes, the floor, whatever you can hire me for. I... Life must have shown you flames if you want this job. It has. I just really need a job. Look at me. I'd be happy to help. But there's really nothing available. But I have no room. And the work I could give was taken by migrants already. It benefits me. They work for less. And your friend is responsible, right? She is, Mr. Fyodor. And a nice girl, I swear. All right. Have your passport? Yes, I have it. It's in You'll here. replace one girl. She's off on maternity leave. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're hired. Tonight you look, learn how things work. Marie, guide her. Of course, sir. Thanks a lot, sir. Some rules. Don't be late, don't act smart. And you'll do your work neatly, or I fire you. This is a place of business. I'll do my best. Sit down. <gasps> Fill it in. <laughs> Ira! Ira! Stop! What happened? Ira! Can we talk, please? Look, I'll talk to her. Don't bother. I'm done here. I don't need this crack. I can work elsewhere and be appreciated for what I bring to the table. She can keep her stupid restaurant. Look, I know, I know you're upset, but don't go. Let me find you another place. You can't quit now. Dear, I have options. I'm done. You understand, right? Yeah, I do. Thank you. Okay, good luck. Excuse me, I couldn't help overhearing you. And? I hear there's a vacancy. Can I talk to the manager? I'm looking for work and desperate. Come on in. I'll just call the manager. What's her name? It's Angie. Just Angie? Uh, just Angie. Wait over here. Thank you. This is the lady. Good evening. Evening. Have a seat. Mm-hmm. How can I help? I'm looking for a job. Everyone is. What are your skills? What can you do? Here's my resume. Mm-hmm. I see you have no experience at all. Yes, but I'm a fast learner. I can do anything. Wash the dishes, clean the floors. I can... We have people who already do that, and they are packed to capacity. Please, Angie. There must be something for me. I'm sorry, but I can't help you.
Listen here. I'm telling you that your deliveries are overdue. So what am I paying you for? I don't want to hear any stories. I don't care. I'm paying for services, not excuses. So what should I do? Is it my fault that you're late? No. No, listen here. I'll cancel and find someone else. What do you mean I'll forfeit my money if I do? What? You what? Uh. Hey there. What's wrong? Can you hear me? What is it? A drunk man. Doesn't look that way. He's having a heart attack. Call 112. Come, hurry. I'm dialing. Hello? A man fell on the street. Address? I know it. Come on. Restaurant. Pr prestige. Prestige. Come on. Come on. Breathe. Don't worry about him. His condition is stable and he was transferred. He's now in a regular ward and he'll be just fine. Everything went well. It's good he arrived on time. When can he come out? That depends on the test we'll run, but it won't be very soon. He'll be kept here for a week or two, just so we can monitor his recovery process. When can I see him? And who are you? His fiance. Look here, fiancé. Today isn't a good day for visitors. It's better you come back tomorrow. All right. I also just brought him hmm. some fruits and things. Leave it with the nurse. She'll give it to him. Thanks, doctor. You're welcome. Okay, goodbye. Hello, it's me. Roman is at the hospital. Heart failure. I know. They say he's fine for now and have transferred him, but I mean, this is a mess. Pushes our engagement back. Millie, it's a disaster. They won't take me anywhere. I wouldn't call it a disaster. You haven't really tried all the fields. Oh, don't start. Look, I know you don't want to hear this, but Nick... What about him? You want me to speak to him so he can humiliate me again? You should try. He's Helen's father. Mm -hmm. And has responsibilities. Remind him that. No. No? Why? He won't listen. He's a ruthless animal. No, I won't go to him. You're being diplomatic. Not fighting rough. <sighs> what don't you get? The man threw us out of the house for his mistress. And they're expecting. I refuse to beg him for anything. I have my pride. What will your pride feed you? You're in crisis mode. Forget about it. This is bigger than your pride. It's for Helen. He's her dad, and the man needs to be reminded of it. He needs to help. He needs to do his part. You hear? Hmm? What, are you speechless? I know, my logic makes sense. <laughs> Life is good. Episode 3. Good morning, sir. Your wife's here. Which wife? Well, your ex-wife. What is it now? You can send her through. Hello. Hello. Come in, have a seat. Oh, oh. 
Change the look? Yeah. Fall in love again? Just trying to look good. Mm-hmm. It's all for me. Okay, then, sure. <clears throat> Nick, I'm in a difficult situation now. I don't have anyone else to turn to. You need money? Well, not exactly. I actually need a job. Mm. But you have to look for the job, I yeah? have been. Read about vacancies, the ads, go to labor exchange, what can I'm I do? I'm looking, yeah, I really am, but so far I've found nothing. There's no money left at all. Um, excuse me. Yes, speaking. Yes, yes, my love. <laughs> yes, okay. How much do you need? 30,000. All right, that's good. I'll transfer to your card. Okay, then bye. Love you, bye. Tell me, is 5,000 enough? No. I don't need handouts. I need a job. I want to earn this money. I need a permanent job to survive. Maybe there's a vacancy at your company? In mine? <laughs> Zvieta, are you, are you kidding me? You're really funny. Do, do you want me to explain why this is funny? Sure. Well, first of all, first of all, you can't do anything. But what position can I offer you? Cleaner? So later the whole team would look at me like a monster and say, look, look how he mocks his ex-wife. And second, I really don't want my pregnant fiance to ask me why my ex-wife works in my own company. Nick, I'm just asking for some help. I don't know how I can help Helen. Listen, if Helen needs money, she can ask me. And I will give her as much as she needs. But I don't have to support you. I hope you understand this. Okay, then. By the way, blonde doesn't suit you. Well, what do you think? You want a new car? I'm quite satisfied with mine. It's yours. Yours is outdated already. It's time to change. This is for you. Take it. But I didn't ask for it. I said take it. You don't have to ask. Elena has to be proud of you. Why must she be? You have to drive this girl in a classy car. Get in. Start it. Let's see. How is it? Good? I think Kirill can choose his own car. He can't. I'm the one paying for this. Well, you like it? It's a good car. But you don't like it. I do, Dad. Thank you, Dad. Who do you think's going to clean here? I didn't know I had to. But the owners do know, and they will file a complaint. Wipe everything there quickly. Mm -hmm. What, are you stupid? This is the first time I've ever seen this. Where to fill what in? You're so daft. Oh, I'm sorry, you're so smart, huh? You forgot that you burned the steamer here on the first day. Oi. So we had to buy a new one for us. Look, 
It's really easy. You fill the water in here. Okay. Here, you unscrew it and pour in the liquid. It seems uh, like you got it, yes. Thank you. Go on then. I'll get water. There was cleaning detergent in a blue bottle. Which one did you take? In green. That's it. There are spots there now. You have to wash it again. I'll tell the owners now. Please don't. Wait, I'll wash oh, it again. At this. It's, it's okay. It's all right. We'll do it together. Come on, go. Don't worry. It's okay. You just pour a new liquid here and then change the water. That's it. Thank you. Oh, Helen. Check this out. So clean. And she did it quickly. <laughs> well done, newbie. Let's work together. Thank you. <laughs> Mom, hello. Hello. Here you go for the shopping. Where did you get this money? Well, I had it. I kept some. I wanted a computer when Dad lived with us. But now I don't need it. Helen. Mary helps me upgrade mine. Helen, you saved us. I will return everything back when Stop I find it. a job. You don't have to do anything. What is it? We are the family. It's okay. Bye-bye. Roman, my man, how are you feeling today? Very well. I'm doing well. <laughs> I envy your optimism, you know. I just can't share it with you. You can't joke about your heart. It won't heal quickly. But I feel okay already. Maybe I can go. No, no, no. Don't even ask me that. Listen, how long will I stay here? I need to get back to work. You need rest and a good diet. Your work won't run away. I advise you to care about your health seriously. If not for that woman on the street who brought you to your senses, your life could have ended on that sidewalk a few days ago. You were really lucky to survive. By the way, I highly recommend finding this woman and thanking her very well. Listen, doctor, I'll do it, but you have to let me out in order for me to do that, right? Well, please, let me go. Rita, get his documents for discharge. <sighs> Take care now. Thank you. Listen, I can't just leave everything and go with you to the place. I have a lot of work here and... Uh... Let me stop you there. You have to be present there. You can't not be. I don't understand. What for? You have the estimate. You have the contract. What's the problem? <sighs> there is an estimate, but there are many questions. We need you to physically be there to answer them. It will speed up the delivery process. <sighs> I know for a fact that you don't want to have to pay any fines or penalties. Yeah, we cannot afford it right mm. now. Exactly my point. My advice to you is to go there immediately and solve all the problems today. What? You mean today? Yes. Believe me, this won't take much time. Three to four days, and we will solve all the problems. Nick! Use this to your advantage. Think about it. Okay, I got it. You persuaded me. Mm. Yeah. Honey, sorry. What is it? Hello? Nick, did you book a table at the restaurant? Sorry, I didn't. It just won't work today. I have a business trip right now. What do you mean, a trip? I've got a business trip. It's urgent. I'm not surprised at all, Nick. 
Listen, don't be upset, please. I won't be gone for a long time. It'll be two days or three, maybe four. I'll call you every day. I promise every day. Do you hear me? I do. Hmm. Okay, then. Love you. Bye. Bye. Sorry. Uh-huh. Okay. Shall we go? Sure, we'll go. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I'm so glad you've already been discharged. <sighs> I really miss you. How's the restaurant? Everything's okay. There are a couple okay. of questions about documents, but everything's in order. What questions? Let's go see. <laughs> Roman, are you crazy? You just got out of the hospital. What restaurant? <laughs> Look, today we're going home and not thinking about work, okay? okay. <laughs> Helen, come on, finish. We'll wait for you in the living uh -huh. room. Sure. Hello. What's your name? Helen. Mm. Nice to meet you. I'm Sergey. Nice to meet you. Of course. Listen. Is everyone in your office nice like this? Why don't you answer? Is it hard to answer? Actually, I'm not allowed to talk to clients at work. Ah, uh, mm-hmm. Listen, your legs are very beautiful. Let me help. No, please Let don't. Let me help you. No, I said I'm fine. <laughs> Uh-oh. Mom's favorite vase. She brought it from Japan. Cost a lot of money. You have to pay for it. What? Listen. I can take the blame for this accident. And you'll work for it, huh? Work for it? Don't worry, it's not bad. We'll just go to the nightclub, dance, have some fun, hmm? Well, if you don't want to, get ready to pay about 200,000, it won't be less. Uh, what's the alternative again? I told you I'll solve it with my mom. Hmm. Okay, fine, I'll go tomorrow. You can take my number down. Hmm. That sounds fun. What is it? Your number. There was an ad in the paper that some staff was wanted. Does this store still need employees? Employees? Yeah, they're needed. Tell me what you can do. I can do anything you need. There is always a lot of work for people like you. 
Of course. You know what? You can stay. I'll pay you good money. Really? Yeah. Can you clean the floors? Sure, I can. I can. Anything. Very good, then. It's a deal. When do you want me to start? Start now. The storage room has to be cleaned. Sure, yeah. Where is it? Right this way. Uh, let me show you. It's here. Uh-huh. Where is the bucket? Where is the mop? Why do you need those? Not now. Get them later. <laughs> what? What are you doing? Now you come here. What? Come to daddy. Uh, you pretty. Uh, what are you doing? Come no. Come to daddy. Help yourself. Mm. I thought I'd bring something from our restaurant, and then I decided to cook for you. Great. I miss homemade meals. <laughs> You need a strict diet now. I'll make sure you eat well. Mm. So you don't get stressed out at work. You scared me a lot when you got to the hospital. Awful. Don't do that again, okay? Are you staying? <laughs> Clever boy. <laughs> The doctor said that any excitement is forbidden for you right now. So I better go home. Come on, I'm feeling better. <laughs> Don't mind these recommendations. Uh... No, 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 no. You have to be patient just a little bit longer. But when you and I go to the health resort, we will have time. <laughs> Don't go. Oh, no, no, please, Roma, no. Wait. Wait a little. We'll go to the resort. I will do whatever you want. Okay. Listen, I want to ask you something. I want to see the restaurant. Report tomorrow. And I also need the security footage of the day that I got sick. No problem. Bye. <laughs> Son, may I come in? Yeah, sure. Are you hungry? No, thanks. I'm okay. I made cheesecake. Would you like a slice? Oh, thank you, Mom. I'm okay for now. You change your mind. Okay. I've never seen you here. It's my first time. Well, do you like it? Mm, it's nice here. Vicky. Victor. <laughs> We're the victors. What are you drinking? Daiquiri, you? Whiskey, neat. You want to buy me a drink? No, all right, sure. 
Okay then. Hi, honey. Hello. How are you doing? I'm okay. <laughs> Here is the security footage. Thank you. I wouldn't be able to do it without you. <laughs> who are you looking for? The person who saved me. Hmm. Let's find them. There. Here she is. Hmm. Look, I think I've seen her somewhere. She came to our restaurant and asked about a job, but I rejected her. She had no experience at all. Listen, we have to find her. Thank her, somehow. She saved my life, after all. Oh yes, I forgot, I forgot. She left her resume here, Kostya told me, and there is an address and a phone number. I'll find it for you now. Hello? Hello there. Is this Vieta? Yeah, who is this? My name is Roman. Roman Stasso. We don't know each other, but you saved my life. Well, I had a heart attack outside my restaurant, and you gave me CPR and helped me. Remember? Oh yeah, sure. I remember. How are you? Good? Yeah, I am. Thank you. I got discharged already. Very good. Uh... How did you find me? Doesn't matter. Listen, Svieta. Um, could you drive up to my restaurant? The one you saved me at. I just really want to meet you and thank you in person. You saved my life. Whenever you can. Today, if possible. Today? Okay, then. Great. I'll be waiting for you. somewhere mm -mm. I can still sleep a bit but I just feel a bit hungry really hungry can we order room service what do you want I want everything I'm hungry ah and I want you now <laughs> Perfect timing. Yeah, Nick? Hi. I'm very well. How are you? Of course I'm home. I miss you too. Okay then. Love you. Bye. Husband? Almost. I like married woman. It's sexy. And I love arrogant and daring men. <laughs> I'm glad that you like my signature cocktail. I really hope that you'll visit us again. Sure. I'll definitely be back. Excuse me. Oh, hey there. Hello. I know who you are. You're the one who asked for a job here. Yeah, I did. But if you hear about work again, I, I don't want to upset you or anything. Our situation has not changed. No, it's not about a job. I need to talk to your boss, Roman. Roman? Yeah. yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, I am. He's waiting for me. Where is he? Well, if he's waiting, you can follow me. As you can see, I got on well without you. I see. Well done. Everything is all right. <laughs> Roman? 
Mm. Shall we leave everything and run away to the resort tomorrow? Mm. Let's announce our engagement and we go. Everyone will wait up. Mm? Maybe. Let's announce today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello there, I'm Sveta. You called me? Hello again. Sveta. I'm glad you came. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Oh, well, anyone would have done the same. No, not anyone. People often pass by someone else's problems. And you didn't. Come on, have a seat. Uh, are you a doctor? Me? No. I studied at the Medical Institute, but I didn't finish. The skills remain. Well, you see, the skill was very helpful. Thank you for saving my fiancé. I am very grateful to you, too. You shouldn't. I just happened to be nearby. Sveta, I just want to thank you. Don't look at this as just money. It's the biggest and most sincere thank you from my heart. From the bottom of my heart, which you may beat again. Please don't. Please don't refuse. Take it. There's no way I can take this money. Hold on. Have I offended you? No. I'm not offended. I just can't take this money for this. But I would like to thank you somehow, Sveta. Please have a seat. Can you say what you want? Don't be shy. I really need a job. If you can, offer me I'm that. I'm sorry, but unfortunately you don't have the experience. I've read your resume, and we don't have any vacancies. Take this money. Wait a minute. Can you cook? I can. I love it, especially desserts. Excellent. So from now on, you work as a baker's assistant in my restaurant. We don't have that position. So we do now. Angie, take care of it. Come tomorrow at 8 a.m. Thank you. And this is your bonus, or an advance, whatever. Take it. Thank you. Well, I feel sorry for her. She won't last here very long. But why? Well, I read her resume. How do you like the car? Not like your old one, right? Definitely. There is a difference. Okay, and what about Elena? We are okay. You are okay? When are you seeing her again? You're wasting time. Other men want to secure this bag too. There are a lot of them. But she chose you. Appreciate that. Understood. No, it's not. You understood nothing at all. Her father's birthday's up, and I hope that through your efforts, we'll be invited. There will be very important people there. Call her. Invite her to the cinema or nightclub. Okay. I'll call her later. Not later. Call her right now. Kirill? Yes, I knew you would call. <laughs> uh, no. Today, unfortunately, I can't. Nightclub tomorrow? Well, I like to dance, yeah. <laughs> good. Very good. Okay, bye.
Are you singing? <laughs> Good news? Yes, excellent news in fact. Today I was hired as a baker's assistant. <laughs> I'm lucky. They are lucky to have you. And the boss gave me money. As an advance. So you're a rich lady now. Mm-hmm. Yes, hello. Who is it? Sergey, the big vase man. <laughs> ah. What is it? What, what? We're going to the nightclub tomorrow, right? Okay, then. Just not too late. Okay, okay. Come at 8 p.m. I'll text you the address. Good. Is it Kirill? No. Kirill and I haven't spoken in a while. Who is it, then? Just a random guy. He wants to meet. Of course, go and meet him. You have to date, Helen. Where are you going? Nowhere. Just for a walk. Sure, you have to. You can't always study. Yeah. Yeah. But I am now. Mmm. Awesome. Yummy. I've never had these in my life before. Mm, I agree. Please accept my compliments. This, this is, is excellent absolutely work. amazing. And Bravo the cream. Smeta. The cream is just amazing. Well, I don't know. I think it's too sweet. No. Mm. Come on, Angie. The pastries are amazing. Well, trust me as a professional. Mm -hmm. Trust my opinion. Svirta, by the way, did you add the cognac to the cream by any chance? Yeah, a bit. Mm. 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 Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, what's going on here? Mm. Svirta brought her pastries and treats for everyone. Wow. This is in honor of my first working day. Try some. Thank you. May I? Here you go. Mm. So let's give it a try. Mmm. <laughs> this is really delicious. Mm -hmm. Yep. What is the name of this creation of yours? No name so far. I got this recipe from my grandmother. Mm. I just improved it a little. And very well, I have to say. Listen, the cakes are just awesome. You know what? Hmm? I have an idea. Let's call these cakes Prestige. And add it to our signature dessert menu. Huh? Great! I agree. I think they will be very popular here. Well, I'm sure. Sveta, what do you say? I wouldn't have dreamt of this. And that's it. Deal. I will finalize an exclusive contract with you, with only one condition, to keep the recipe a secret so no one else has the same. Mm. Okay, sir. Delicious. Can I take it with me? Roman, you can't eat sweets after the hospital. Let's make an exception. Then, as an exception too, I propose to open the champagne and drink for my engagement to Roman. Wow. <laughs> Kostya, help us, please. Yeah, oh, it will be an absolute pleasure, Angie. Angie and Roman, we are so happy for the both Hooray. of you. Thanks a lot. Just a couple of sips and get back to work. Just a little. Kostya, hurry up. I'm coming, sure. Spieta, you've never worked in a restaurant? <laughs> no, never. Then you just have a natural talent.
Hello. Hello. You got a new car. Yeah, my dad got it. Uh, I had one like this last year, and then I changed it. Rich life. <laughs> well, shall we? Shall we go to my place first? Uh. <laughs> I'm kidding. Let's go. Here you go. Thank you. Help yourself. No, no, thank you. I don't drink. Come on, have a drink. I don't want to drink. Why are you so sad? I don't understand. I'm okay, I'm fine. Listen, shall we go and dance? I don't want Come to on. dance. Come on, let's dance. Sorry, I won't. Let's go, let's go. I don't dance. Why are you so nervous? Come on, let's go dance. Come to the dance floor. Blah, blah, blah. Come on, let's go somewhere to relax. Where? Away from here. You no. need to relax, really. Uh. It's not bad here. I hope the drinks are good too. Can you get me a cocktail? Okay. Don't Let's please, go. I don't want. Excuse me. Come Sergei. on, come on. Sergei, please don't. Shh. Sergei, please don't. Hey! Hands off! I said hands off her. This isn't your business. I'm Kiddo, making it don't mine. Listen to him. Ugh. <laughs> Let me go! Security. Leave me alone! It hurts! Security, help us, please! Ouch! Thank you. How are you? I'm okay. I'm sorry I ruined <laughs> your evening. It's okay. No stress. Who was that idiot? Well, no one, just a guy. Kirill, I'm waiting for you. It took so long for you to get out of there. Are we going to my place? No. I am going another way. I don't get it. I was waiting for nothing? You were. Yes. I have to go now. Goodbye. Helen, wait! Helen? So you didn't just stand up for her, right? You know her? Yeah. Your ex? She's my present. Sorry. <sighs> Piss off, then! And don't call me again, you hear me? Never! Goodness. How was your first day here? Oh, good. Really? I feel like I've worked in your restaurant all my life. I really like it. It's good that you like it. I also enjoy doing what I do. I love when customers are happy. You have... <laughs> some cream on the cheek. Uh, here? No. We... <laughs> Where? What? I can give you a ride home if you like. No. Don't. I I'm using the bus. Okay. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. What did she want? Nothing. Nothing at all. You have secrets already? Come on, what? I asked her if she likes it here. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. But I would advise you not to let the staff get close to you because it affects discipline quite badly. <laughs> Well, shall we go to your place? I miss you. Hmm? Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. Helen, wait. Listen. Let's try. One more time? <laughs> What's one more time? Well, we try to date again. Forgive me, I'm sorry. Yes, I... I acted like a real idiot. I'm sorry. Yes, you know, my mom and I look like complete I know, idiots. I'm sorry. I want to fix everything now. Give me a chance. Can I at least call you? Okay, call. You know, you taught him a lesson. <laughs> Hello, dear. How was your evening? Good. How are you? Very good. Did he see you off? Uh-huh. He did. You want to eat? No. I'm so tired, actually. Good night. Who's first to the shower, you or me? What's on your mind? Hmm? About you. <laughs> I want to sign the agreement with Svieta tomorrow morning already. Oh wow, that's just great, Roman. Even now you're talking about her. No, it's just that I remembered. I promised. Yeah? Didn't you promise to marry her, maybe? Angie, why are you like this? By the way, she saved my life. Did you forget about that? I don't care that? what she did. I don't want you talking about her in front of me. This woman is an employee, and she must know her place. Yes, she saved your life, but didn't you thank her? That's it, I've heard enough. That's enough, forget about it. This woman is just a servant like everyone who works for you. Servant? She is not a servant. We are... The team. We do big things together. You don't have to talk about people like that. What if I do? What? Will you fire me? I do all the work myself. If not for me, the staff wouldn't have been able to do anything at all. Angie. Do you think they respect you? They only respect your money. And they only think about how to steal something behind your back. Stop! I don't want to hear all of this. Roman. Roman, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Roman. I didn't mean it, really. I'm just nervous, hmm? Roman. Okay. Uh, but you'd better go home now. Okay. I'll go and we, we need to calm down, right? Tomorrow everything will be fine. <laughs> okay, I'll go. Hello. Hello. I wanted to keep in shape somehow. Do you mind? The park's public. <laughs> Your cakes, Vieta, are selling at an incredible speed. Really? I think we'll need to bake another 40 today, or maybe even 50. Will you manage all that baking? Sure, I will. Hmm. If things continue to go this well... You'll need to hire your own assistant pretty soon. Seriously. Zvieta! 
When you have time, please go to Roman's office sometime. Okay. Yes? May uh, I? Sure. You need something? Uh, I promise to sign an exclusive cooperation agreement with you. Uh. Please sit. You just need to sign here for me. And here. Uh-huh. That all? Mm-hmm. This is your copy. Over here. There you go. Mm-hmm. Can I go? Mm. This is mine, right? Yes. Sveta. Yes? Uh, please sit for a second. Sveta, is there anything you'd like offered? May I offer you... Yes? Well... I want you to go on holiday with me, for a few days. A holiday? Yes. I'm going to the health resort tomorrow. It's in a very nice place. There's a spa and all that. Well, can you go with me then? Okay, but what would I go as? Well, I don't need a baker there for sure. Who do you need? Well, a beautiful lady. Well, I just think that I like you a lot, so I want to get to know you better. Hmm. You're supposed to be engaged soon. You shouldn't be courting other women. Or I don't understand something. Neither do I. I saw you and then something turned over inside of me. I'm sorry for telling you all of this. <sighs> Is it so easy for you? Well, not at all. Not easy. Just try to understand me, okay? I don't want to offend you or anything like that. Mm-hmm. You will live in a separate room. I will, of course, behave like a gentleman, without any dirty hints. And if you don't like it, then... I'll take you back home, immediately. No questions asked. But I assure you, it's very comfortable there. Are you declining my offer? No, but I have to think. Ah, of course. I'll be waiting for your answer. <sighs> Did you know the Clean House Company has opened in the neighboring area? <laughs> Do you know what that means? It means competition. And there's a complaint from the customer on our website today. The client is very dissatisfied with the quality of your cleaning. This comment read, it was still dirty after they came. What client is it? Parkavaya Street? He is lying. Everything was absolutely mm -hmm. clean. What difference does it make who it is? Yes, it's a complaint from him. Mm. He is sick. I know that very well. Forget that idiot. Please, listen to me, Fyodor. I have an idea. Tell me, Marie, tell me. Let's take pictures. How it was before the cleaning and how it is after. <sighs> if Seriously? the client complained mm -hmm. to us, we can always just show the pictures of the work. And by the way, you can use these pictures for your site. What you say? This actually sounds like it's a good idea. So, from today, we are filming everything on our phones. Photos are attached to the reports. Is that clear? Yes, yes, yes. yes we will film. Well done. Good. Back Let's to work. Let's go. Uh, okay. Calm down. It's going to be okay.
Vicky, hello. Do you miss me? Oh, well, just a bit. Are you busy now? I am, but business can obviously wait. Shall we go out then, to the nightclub? Good idea. Let's go then. Great, see you then. Are you serious? He sounds like quite the fancy man. The owner of the restaurant offers you to spend time with him, and why are you thinking? No, you're crazy. Or you're pretending. Go to the store for chic underwear, and then to the salon, and when you're ready, straight to the resort. Really? This is a chance. One in a million. That's it. Call him. He has a fiance. A fiance isn't a wife. Call him. Do it. Life is Good, Episode 4. <sighs> Vic. Victor, wake up. Am I speaking to the cleaning company? Yeah, I need cleaning right now. It's so beautiful here. I never leave the city. I haven't been out here for a while. I just work all the time. that we were going to a resort. It's a fairy tale. You should have seen it a few years ago. I bought it and rebuilt everything to my liking. Is it all yours? Yeah. You like it? Yeah, I love it. After you. Roman. Good Welcome day. Welcome back. Here's your key. Your room is ready. Thank you. All Enjoy right. Enjoy your stay. This way. If 
you don't like something, you can just let me know and I'll fix it for you. Oh no, okay? there's no need. I like everything. Thank you. I'll be staying down the hall. Do you want something to eat? No, thank you. I'm not hungry. Well, make yourself at home. I'll be back in 20 minutes. Then we can take a walk if you want. Okay. Oh yes, one more thing. No phones, please. Let's try to enjoy every moment here. All right then. You have to wake up. What now? Come. You have to get going. I am the boss. I do what I want. <laughs> if I go to work, or if I don't, I decide. Come, let's play. Let's play like yesterday, kitty. Let's play. Yeah? Like restless rabbits. Like bunnies. Oh. <laughs> it will be my crazy bunny, and I'm going to be the big bunny. <laughs> mm. Who's that? Husband? Are you scared? No. Cleaning company. What? It's the cleaners. Ah. Mm. No, Vic. We're here to clean. Yes, come in. Everything's a mess. The bedroom is upstairs. You can start cleaning here. Seems like a lot. Do you know our prices? Money is not a problem. You can do the bathroom last. Come, start. Try to clean as fast as you can. Thank you very much. Okay. Looks Oof. like they had quite a party. It looks like New Year's Eve party. Hmm. You're the pig? <laughs> oh, and don't forget to take photos. You never know what mm -hmm. she's gonna say later. Let's do it. Can you give me my slippers? Aha. Mm. Uh -huh. uh -huh. All right. You can start here so long. I'll go upstairs and see how it looks. Let's see. All right. I have to get this. <laughs> I truly loved him. We fell in love in school. Then we got married and lived together for about 20 years almost. There is nothing eternal under the sun. He got a younger woman. That's the story. That's a pity, but that is life. Were you married? Almost. <laughs> what does that mean? I was in love with a beautiful girl. I even proposed, but it turned out she was an escort. She lied to me for a whole year, so I realized she just wanted my money the entire time we were together. Hmm, but now you have Angie, right? She loves you. She works for you. <sighs> yeah. Now I have Angie, yes.
Ellen? What are you doing? I'm cleaning. Why are you cleaning? Well, I work for a cleaning agency. I see. Where is uh, the lady? Mm. We're Vicky! Not sure. Nick? Why are you surprised? What's going on? Mm, nothing. I had a guest yesterday. Guests? Mm hmm. Yeah, I was in a good mood. There was a little party. What kind of party? A normal party. Did you drink? No. You can leave now. Nick, 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 uh, I'll, I'll explain everything, Nick, please. Is there I'll a man here? To you. Just wait here, please. Nick! Well, Helen? I can explain everything. Nick. Who is he? Uh, um. I see. No, come back. Please, don't go. Do you know that man? That's my father. You're kidding. The man who replaced your mom with that woman? Looks like it. Please don't tell anyone, okay? I won't. I'm ashamed. Ashamed? You? Your father and that bimbo should be ashamed. <laughs> By the way, wait. Look here. I took a photo. I saw a bunny today. Look here. Look. <laughs> it's so funny. This is Victor. Who? It's Kirill's father. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Are you cold? No. If you're tired, we can go back. There's a swimming pool and a spa. No, no, I'm fine. I feel good. I can't remember the last time I felt so good. Damn it, where is he? If you're looking for Mr. Roman, he left. Where did he go to? I think to the resort, with the new baker. What are you talking about? It can't be. You're not going to believe it, but yesterday. So, I heard he invited it there. Hmm. I always wanted a country house with a fireplace. And also a few dogs. A friendly little dog. But Nick couldn't stand dogs. Well, I love dogs. But they need a lot of time and care. I'm always working. Want some wine? Mm-hmm. What are we toasting? To time and care, I guess. Sounds good to me. Can I pour you another glass? Another one? Uh... Mm, it seems like you're offering me a drink, like I'm your pal. I can be romantic, Sveta. Do you believe me? Uh, okay. Don't make it that obvious. I want to drink to you for the fact that you and I met. That you agreed to come here. I'm so happy you're here. So this is to you. Cheers, dear. I really want to kiss you.
Don't do that. You did. Now what? Okay, okay. Take it easy. Look, your eyes are already swollen. Vic, we will find you another man. I don't want someone else. I want Nick. Forget about Nick. You can't go back to him. Forget about him. You are young, beautiful. You got your whole life. Let's find you another, a better guy. Just be smarter next time, okay? Okay? Goodness. Why did I spend so much money on this certificate? Mom, what certificate, huh? What an idiot. I'm such a fool. Enough. That's enough. Calm down. Don't worry, my child. Come. Are you happy now? <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't believe what's happening. <clears throat> I was a wife, a mother, a housewife, but never a homewrecker. Angelique, what are you doing here? I just came to see you, Roman, and your new baker. So you saw. You can go now. I will soon. I won't come back. I'm leaving you. You'll regret it. I wasted my time. How dare you bring this woman to our bed? You are a bastard, Roman. You hear me? A bastard! So stupid, what am I doing? Go, tell her to come back. She's your. Everything is the way it should be, darling. But she's your. You are mine. By the way, it's payday. Did you forget? Oh, yeah. 
Maybe we should go eat at the cafe, but we should get ready first. We've been here all night. Okay. But I'll yeah. pay this time, okay? <laughs> okay, you can pay. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, is that for you? Uh... Helen, can I talk to you? Give me a second. Okay, sure. Just don't take long. I have to go. Helen, I can't live without you. I think about you all the time. Forgive me. What can I do to get you back? I'll do anything. I forgive you. That's enough, all right? It's in the past. Um, I'm sorry, but we're running late. We're going out. Yeah, we're late. I can drive you. No, thank you. See you tomorrow. I'll call you. <laughs> Helen. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I want to hear everything. What happened? I don't know how to start. For starters, I can see you're doing well. You look like a rose in May, Spieta. <laughs> <laughs> but I want the details. Did he ask you to marry him? What now? We just met a month ago, Millie. I know, but you're in love. I had no idea that I could feel like this. It feels like we're one. We're together all the time. Yes, I know you're in love, but you have to go to the registry office. You're acting so cynical. Svieta, I'm not cynical, I'm practical. And the restaurant? Everything good? Yes, we do it together as well. He helps me with managing the business. He wants to find an investor to Whoa. open a new restaurant and bakery. He wants to sell my cakes there. So many things to do. Yet I'm standing here. <laughs> You've become a businesswoman now. <laughs> yeah. Svieta. Hi. <laughs> How did you find me? Did you follow me? Yeah. <laughs> For you. Why did you come? Aren't you afraid Helen would see? Svieta. I'll do whatever you say. Just let me come back. Please forgive me. Hmm? Just forgive me. Remember, you have a new family now. When you already had one. You're being sarcastic, I get it. But I'm serious. By the way, you said you need money. I'm ready to give you any amount. Any amount you say. And I even got you a job at our company. Sales manager. Excellent salary. What do you say, huh? It's too late. I already have a job. And I have enough money, so... I don't need anything. You changed. I did. Everyone changes. I'm no exception. Svieta. Hmm? I'm ready to start over. You, me, and Helen, just like before. I promise. Hmm? No, it will never be the same. But why? Because, as you said, I have changed a lot. Svieta. Well, listen. I know I was wrong. I'm taking the blame, but... I... I can't live without you, Svieta. I'm worried about you. Don't. You have your life. I have mine. Please don't talk about this again. You became cruel without me. I'm happy without you, Nick. I'm sorry, I have to get going now. To the cafe? Why? Why go to a hellish place, huh? Come on, let's take a walk, get some fresh air. It's so nice here. Let's get out of the city then. I know a beautiful place. Kirill, why must we go somewhere? 
Why can't we just enjoy this moment? Just look at how good the weather is today. Okay, wait here. Just wait. Good day. Hi there. Can I have this one, please? This one? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Thank yeah. you. Here you go. Keep the change. Uh. <laughs> Kitty? Helen. What are you doing? Will you marry me? What? Will you be my wife? Kitty, all people are watching. No, well, I won't get up until you say yes, Helen. Hey, lady, say yes. He looks like a very good man. Huh? <laughs> yes, I will. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Spread the love, you guys. You make me so happy. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Take this. We'll go to the registry office. What about your dad? My mom is crazy about you. But your dad... Listen, this is my life. It's my decision. If he doesn't like it, it's his problem. I love you, and that's all that matters. Zvienta. <laughs> 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 yeah? The boss said he wants your cakes. Where? At the big hall. He has an investor for the restaurant. Roman wants him to try them. So go on and show them your talent. Come on, come on, hurry up, go, go, go! Okay, I'm coming now. Are you sure you haven't tasted cakes like this? And I think if we get production started, then we can compete with the most famous brands. Oh. Good evening. Good evening. Sveta, meet our investor, Viktor Dolzhansky. And this is our beautiful baker, Sveta. She is my girlfriend. We met a month ago. And these are her creations. Wonderful. Please excuse me, I have to go. The oven is on. Yes, sure, go. Treat yourself, it's delicious. I would like to, but uh, I'll taste them next time. I don't eat sugar. No. Tell me, how long has this baker been working for you? Sveta, about a month, I think. Well, the thing is, we know each other. We met under certain circumstances, and I'm honestly surprised that she's become an expert in the baking scene now. Wait, I don't understand what you're talking about. <clears throat> she, um, came to my hotel room, Roman. She's an escort girl. <laughs> What are you talking about? Roma? You don't believe me. Okay, well... Let's do this. She has a... Mole on her belly. Just on the left, next to the navel. I think you should know that. So how was the meeting, Roman? It was great. There is no investment. I think I know why. Very good. I don't need to explain anything to you then. Uh... You were fired. That's a mistake. You're right. It was a mistake. This. So. Roman. You can't believe him. Don't make an idiot out of me. Just get out of my life. Roman. I will give you good recommendations. You can get a job in any restaurant. Just don't get in my way. Goodbye. explain anything. He just fired me. What an asshole. No, don't say that about him. He just doesn't trust anyone. And he didn't believe me. 
He's been in this situation before. Whatever it might be, he didn't treat you right. He made a huge mistake. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I truly love him. A lot. Svieta, we will do it. Huh? We are strong. What fools we are. Hey there, girls. I'm getting married. Kitty will propose to me. Yes. Aunt Mel, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> I will be a relative of this Victor. Hmm. I just can't handle this. Go! Move! What are you doing? They changed the entire game plan. Last year they played well, I even bought a season ticket. And look now. This year they just suck. Victor, let's go to the theater. I bought a new dress. And to a restaurant? We haven't been out lately. I'm so tired of this. I'm at restaurants all the time for business. Go! Ugh, not again. Ah! Let's drink tea. Oh, Carol is here. Hello, son. Hello. You're late today. Was it the girly? No. Where then? You don't spoil that girl enough. I'll buy you tickets for two to the Maldives. And then? Things will go faster there. She'll like you more if you do that. No tickets will be needed, Dad. Why? Because I won't be dating Ellie. I love Helen. And today I proposed to her. <coughs> Is that a joke, son? No, I'm serious. We're going to the registry. I'm getting married. <coughs> this wedding won't happen. That bimbo will not enter my house. We'll have our own house. And don't call her a bimbo. Look at that. What did you say? What did you... believe in yourself or what? Huh? Or decided to live on the street with a bare ass without an inheritance? I don't give a damn about your inheritance. Look there. He doesn't care. Go, go say something to him. I'm telling you, our son is grown up. He can decide who he wants to love and marry. Don't you dare stop him. Yeah. Well, I can say whatever I want to anyone, honey. And that's to you too. Hello? Hello. What are you doing here? I just brought your key back. Roman. I don't want to get involved. 
But I know everything. You know what? Well, why you broke up with me? I'm ready to forgive. And maybe we could try again. I'll be different, so... Excuse me? Could you go now? Are you kicking me out? But you know I was right. I don't want to see anyone now. A fire? No, I just burnt this. Mm. Can we distract you? Or improve your mood a bit? We went to the registry office. Huh. That is good. The wedding is in two months. Let's get ready. Well, Cyril had to leave home because of his dad. Can he maybe stay with us for a while? We will look for our own place, hmm? Why are you asking? He is your future husband. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Sviata. Thank you. Let's go. Thank you. Let's go. Well, Deljansky Semyon. Mm hmm. Deljansky Igor. Deljansky Victor. Mm hmm. Bank, Horizon. You need a lift? No. Listen, can you please forgive me? I will even get on my knees. Don't follow me, please. Why did you come here? What do you want? And don't tell me it's about investments. I don't want you to interfere with a kid's joy. You already ruined my life. And I don't want you to ruin the life of my daughter and Kirill, whom she loves so very much. That's it. This wedding will happen. No, it won't. I will do everything in my power. Do it. And now, get out of here. Lucy, come here. Yes, Mr. Victor? Do you remember this woman? Yes. Do you remember her well? Yes. We'll make sure that she never ever comes here again. Will do.
Nice to see you, Sveta. Hello, Tate. It's good that I saw you. I wanted to talk to you about my son and your daughter. Thanks, I've already spoken to your husband. That's enough for Wait. me. I know you're opposed. No, I don't agree with my husband. I really like your daughter, and I think she's the perfect match for my Kirill. I wanted to talk to you, and... And today, God sent you to me. Okay, let's talk. Uh, not here on the street. Somewhere else. Maybe in a cafe? Okay. Let's go. I live in some kind of hell. I don't understand why my husband is so against our children's marriage. They love each other. They do. I don't understand why he reacted like that. He doesn't talk to me about what happened. Kirill left home. I don't know. I don't know where he is. Don't worry, he lives with us. They're all right, okay? Today they went to the registry office. Why didn't he call me? There was no time, but he will call you. I also want them to get married. I just don't understand why my husband is so hostile. Listen, I slept with your husband. What? Just don't interrupt me, please. It's hard for me to say. It's all my fault. After the divorce, I was upset and I couldn't find a place to stay. I was confused. I didn't know what to do. My friend said we should go out. We went to a nightclub. We went to a nightclub so that I can be distracted. And so at the nightclub, we met your husband. Victor. Yes, he was there. The next morning, I woke up with him in some hotel. I don't know what happened. I don't even remember how it happened. Are you trying to tell me that you slept with my husband? Yes, yes, your husband. He bought us a drink. We drank, then we drank again, and everything started. You and my husband. Yes, I'm really sorry about that. I really wish it never happened. I promise you it will never happen again. Victor decided that our relationship should continue. He took me out for wine. But I told him it would never happen, so that's why he's so angry. Please, our children, they really love each other and they should be happy despite anything, Tate. Helen! Hello. Hi. Hello. Helen, we need to talk. I don't have time. I'm in a hurry. You don't have two minutes to spare for your dad. Okay. I know you're mad. And you have every reason for this, but no matter what happens, daughter, I always thought about you. And you are my priority. I did not notice that, Daddy. I feel like I can't talk to you. Yes, you... You work for that cleaning agency, right? So you need money? How much do you need? Tell me. I'm okay. My fiancé makes good money, Dad. What? Fiancé? Wait, are you getting married? When? None of your business. What do you mean, I'm your father, Helen? Oh? Yes. You know, I thought so too until you left us. I'm sorry, I have to go. Goodbye. Goodbye. Listen, you are very tough with him. Can't you forgive him? I don't know. 
Not now, for sure. I see. At least invite me to the wedding. Mary, what wedding now? What are you talking about? I still don't know if we will celebrate it or not. Why aren't you going to have a wedding? You know... What? Cyril's dad said no. He won't understand it. Okay, well that's your problem. Trust me, he will make sure to ruin our wedding day. On top of that, it's all because of my mom. As if he's an angel. He had a mistress. Well, not exactly. You don't know. It was my mom. No way. Yeah. After my parents' divorce, she... She went to a club, and there, uh, she met Victor. She was very drunk, and Mr. Victor took advantage of it, of course. The next morning, my mom couldn't even remember it. He really wanted to date her, and she refused him, of course. So now he's taking it out on us. So there, now you know the whole sad story. Well, if you say so, but I think you are wrong, and... You and Kitty will have a gorgeous wedding, okay? Yeah. I mean, forget what this man said. It doesn't matter. You're in love. Have uh -huh. your wedding. Serious. Yeah. I'm not so sure. What happens then? What will his father do? We can't risk everything. It's worth the risk. You only get married once in a lifetime. Besides, you need to let off some steam. Yeah, I'll think. I'll see you later. Okay. Call me. <laughs> Bye. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh. Are you awake? Sorry, I'm late again today. If you only knew. How difficult it is to attend all these endless meetings. I talked to Sveta today. Which Sveta? The one who was here with Helen. She said you slept with her. Is it true? Who? Me? What? Why? Have you gone completely nuts? I ask again, is this true? Did you cheat? I need to know. Okay, then. I have to be honest with you, yes. We slept together. It was only one time. After a business meeting with partners, I was drunk, tired, and didn't remember anything, and this bitch dragged me into bed. So you cheated on me only once? Tati, I repeat, it was once. I can't even remember anything. I don't even remember where or how it happened. And then this bitch began to blackmail me. That's why you're so mad at her. Now you understand me? Let's do this. We forget about this whole thing. Like a bad dream. We don't talk about it again, okay? Anyway, I have to go to sleep. So what's this? <sighs>